Hello students, in this video, I'll be showing you how to solve a sum in which redemption is done out of profit. Okay, so let us start. Uh, redemption of profit, Ramesh Limited, an unlisted company other than NBFC and HFC. See, this will be to, uh, told to you that this company is not a NBFC or HFC because they need not create DRRM. Okay, so it is mentioned that you have to follow the rules of DR. Okay, so again, uh, Ramesh Limited is an unlisted company issued 10,000 14% debentures of rupees 100 each on 1st April 2016 at a discount of rupees 5% and redeemable at premium of 10%. So first uh, let us record the details. What is the face value? Face value is 10,000 debentures into 100 each that is 10 lakh rupees we are giving a discount of 5 percent okay it comes to 10 lakhs into 0 0.05 so 50,000 less so in bank you will receive only 9 lakh 50,000 okay and apart from this, while repaying, we are paying them 10% premium, premium on redemption at the rate of 10%. So this is also a loss for us. Okay. So 10% of 10 lakhs will be 1 lakh. Okay. So total loss we can say, or uh, rather we should call it loss on issue of debenture will be 1 lakh 50,000. Okay. So instead of using those two names, discount and PUR, will be writing it as uh, loss on issue 150000 clear okay so let us pass the first entry date is 1st april 2016 so i'll write 1st april 2016 entry will be bank account debit How much you are going to receive in bank? Nine lakh fifty thousand, right? Then loss on issue of debenture is how much? Is fifty thousand discount and uh, one lakh premium. So total loss is one lakh fifty thousand, right? Two debentures. 14% I can write 14% debentures. Against debentures, I told you always write face value 10 lakhs. Okay. And how much extra we are paying? That is a liability to premium on redemption. Okay. 1 lakh. So your entry should tally. Clear students? That's it. So whenever you have to create a DRR, okay, whenever you are redeeming debentures out of profit. We have to follow two rules. Rule one is that transfer to DRR account 10% of amount to be redeemed. Okay. This is first thing you have to do at the end of the fifth year. Okay. Uh, let's read the sum. Uh, so as I read redemption at the time of redemption, we have to pay 10% premium after five years out of profit. This line is very important. I'll read it again. I'll read the sum again. Uh, Ramesh Limited issued 10,000 14% debentures of 100 each on 1st April 16. We passed entry for this at a discount of 5% and redeemable at premium of 10% after five years. Okay. Out of profit. On 31st March 2021. So in the year 21, we have to do redemption. And I told you two special things about whenever uh, the redemption is made out of profit. Rule one is that you transfer to DRR 10%. And second thing you have to rule two is invest 15% in debenture redemption reserve investment okay 
these two rules are there which you need to follow rule one is that in last year these both things are to be done in last year huh? in the year of redemption so what will be the year of redemption students uh, we have issued in the year 1670 so 1670 is first year 1718 1819 1920 2021 so in the year 2021 you have to pass these two entries okay clear and that too at the beginning only these two entries are to be done at the beginning of last year that is in the month of april itself okay in the month of april 20 okay this is important okay these two entry two, two rules we have to follow uh, in the month of april 2020 that is fifth year fifth year is 2021 so that starts in the month of april 20 and ends on 31st march 21 okay and in the month of march 21 that is last month of that year 2021 okay march 2021 in this month we have to do the actual redemption okay so whatever investment you have done okay you have to sell those investments sell the investment okay and proceed with the redemption okay and once uh, redemption is done you can transfer balance in drr to general reserve okay this is the procedure you have to follow okay we have uh, already passed entry for issue of debentures uh, the entry for issue of debenture remains same irrespective of type of redemption okay so whether redemption is out of lots out of profit okay the issue entry remains the same we have seen this okay now this is a, a special redemption that is redemption out of profit some special things you need to know i'll repeat those special things in the last year i'll make this bold in the last year what you do in the beginning of that last year that is in april month itself before 30th okay it is very important that you uh, follow these two rules before 30th of april okay uh, number one you will do is number one uh, thing you will do is you will transfer to drr 10 percent of the value of debentures to be redeemed so what is 10 percent of face value one lakh rupees okay so let us pass entry for that you can take any date before 30th april okay so let us take first of april okay so on first of april in the year 2020 okay this is the beginning of the year isn't it 2021 you will transfer from pnl account okay so you can write pnl account debit to debenture redemption reserve okay also called as dr clear so this transfer is how much 10 percent 10 percent of amount to be redeemed so what is the amount of face value to be redeemed 10 lakhs so 10 percent of that will be 1 lakh okay very simple sum just need to know these special rules okay that's it so we are done with this one i'll just make it bold since we have done it this done okay we transferred 10 percent to drr clear okay next thing you have to do is invest 15 percent of uh of drr uh of face value in drr i'm just edit this invest 15 percent of face value in drr okay so entry for investment very simple we have invested money uh what date shall we take it has to be before 30th april so we can take second april first even first april will do so i'll just write first april only again if you have to invest now so whenever you purchase investment it's always investment account debit to bank okay so here we'll call it drr investment 
DRR investment from debit through bank account. We are paying through bank, right? Through bank account. How much? 15% of face value. So face value is how much? 10 lakhs. So 15% of that will be 1 lakh 50,000. Understood? So 1 lakh 50,000 is the investment you made in the last year, in the first month of last year. That is redemption years in the first month. I hope this is clear, students. <clears throat> okay. So once you are done the investment, uh, in the end of that year, that is on 31st March 2021, when we have to do actual redemption, what we will do? See, I have written it here. <clears throat> See, this step is done. We transfer 10% to DRR. We invested 15% of pressure in DRR. Okay. Now, the March 21, that is end month, last month of that redemption year comes. So here, what you have to do? First, sell that investment. How much we had invested? One lakh fifty thousand. Now just pass reversal entry for selling that investment. So I'll write here thirty first March twenty one. Okay, twenty twenty one. Beginning is twenty April. Ending is March twenty one. Okay. So we'll realize money in bank. So bank account debit. What is going out? DRR investment. Okay. How much amount? It is sold for 150. We presume same amount is sold for. Otherwise, if they tell you that it is sold at a higher price, you know what to do. We have to adjust profit via DRR account or PL account. Okay. 150,000. Clear? So investment is sold now. Okay. Now you have funds with you. Now let us go ahead with the redemption. So on last day again, we have to pass entry for redemption. Same entry. Debenture account debit, POR account debit to debenture holder and then debenture holder to bank. Okay. Common entries. So let us first record entry of redemption. So 14% debentures account debit. Premium on redemption account debit to debenture holders account. Okay, let us fill in the values. Against debenture, I told you always put face value. One more zero in it, put 10 lakhs. We are paying 1 lakh premium. So, total amount payable to debenture holder is 11 lakhs. Clear? Now, we'll pay it on same day again, 31st March 21. Debenture holders. Account debit. To bank account. Eleven lakhs. <clears throat> Clear? Now we used to write off this premium on redemption to security premium. Remember? Okay. So same thing we can do here also. Although it is not mentioned or required, we can write off that POR. So which reserve we are going to use? If nothing is mentioned, we always presume that we have sufficient PNL balance. So PNL account debit. Premium on redemption write off. Okay. What was the amount of redemption premium? One lakh. Clear? Now, uh, we had created a DRR uh, reserve, debenture redemption reserve. It has to be transferred to general reserve now. Okay. So let us entry for that also. Now, when we had made the transfer, you can look here. On 1st of April, we pass entry PNL to DRR. Okay. Now it will be reversed from DRR when transferred to general reserve now. Okay. So <clears throat> DRR account debit. Now let's inform 
debenture redemption reserve that is VRR account debit to general reserve. That's it. Very small sum. It may be there for 10 marks. Okay. The special things are here. In between these two part, I have turned the main part. Okay. This is important. You need to know these rules. Okay. So I will repeat the procedure first entry for issue of debentures as it is. We normally pass. Then whenever the transfer is made or uh, redemption is done out of profit, first you have to keep aside certain amount. It is 10% of face value of debentures to be redeemed in DRR account. DRR stands for debenture redemption reserve. So from PNL you transfer one lakh to DRR. Okay. Now second thing you have to do is transfer or rather invest this amount outside the business. And that is called as DRR investment. So when you invest money, it is called a DRR investment to begin. Okay. So in, this is done in last year, uh, in last year, first month, April. But date should be before 30th of April because 30th of April is the last day of doing these two months. Okay, so you can take 1, 15, 20, even 30th is fine. Clear? Now, uh, on 31st March, what you will be doing, you will sell that investment. So you'll receive money, bank account debit to DRR investment. Okay. Now you have funds, so you can go ahead with the redemption. So your redemption as usual, debentures account debit, pre premium on redemption account debit to debenture holders, then debenture holder to bank. Okay. Then that premium on redemption, you will write off against PNL account. So PNL to premium on redemption. Okay. Then uh, the DRR which was created for redemption is no longer required. So you can transfer it to general reserve. Okay. So that's it for this sum students. Uh, I'll solve the next sum. Let me just go to that part. Give me a moment.